Hello Cancerians, this is your November 2021 general reading. And to make it a little more in-depth and understandable, I will be separating things into um, areas. So uh, first of all, we will have just ask the guides what they have to say to you, what they want you to um, pay attention to. So just looking at the overall energy of your star sign, if that makes sense. And then we will look into emotions. So this could be what's happening in your love life or what to look out for, or maybe there's stuff that needs to go. Before we go into opportunities um, that have to do with career and how to sustain yourself financially, if that makes sense, right? Um, but let's just start at the beginning. Let's have a look what the guides actually have to say to you in the months or for the months of November 2021. Now remember that November, that sounds, it rhymes. Remember that November. <laughs> remember that November is the month 11 of 12. And 11 is a master number. As a matter of fact, 11 is the higher, highest master number there is. What that means then, that anything and everything that comes up here this very month, is going to be felt stronger than in most other months that are not carrying the energy of 11, if that makes sense. And that normally is a good thing because it allows for an energy boost that helps, you know, kicking ass, if that makes sense, right? So here's what the guide's asking you, uh, Cancerians, to look into. You have the swan, the cat, which is the animal in the middle, and the crocodile. How this works is the animal in the middle, because it is flanked by two others, the, the message for or of the animal in the middle is the most important. Having said that, obviously there are three animal guides for a reason. Here's ultimately what the guides have to say to you, Cancerians, for the months of November 2021. The swan is the incoming energy, and what they're saying to you is, you got nothing to prove to begin with. Really, really important to realize this. If people are not happy with you the way you are, then obviously they're not your people. It is that simple here. You do not have to prove anything. That does not mean that there isn't always something that can be improved upon. That's a different topic. But don't be judged or judge yourself simply on being you, if that makes sense, because you are enough, right? And then the main message here is the cat. And the cat is telling you, the more you can do independently this month, the better you actually will function this month. So it feels, therefore, to me that maybe this element of let me just remove myself a little, is a pointer that you're maybe a bit too busy, maybe there's too much going on, maybe you have uh, people in your life that you care about deeply, but that have real issues, and you are the person called upon to always make sure things work, that sort of energy that is what I'm getting, and while this is commendable, um, you need to realize once your energy is drained, um, it is going to be very difficult to get high energy back. So therefore, you need to be able to remove yourself and to, so to, to recharge your battery. And that is only possible by having boundaries. Now, cats are very good with boundaries, aren't they? Because they tell you exactly when they want you around and when not to. Right? So... Take that hint, <laughs> Cancerians. The outgoing energy is the crocodile, which has to do with your self-esteem. And to a certain extent, there is a self-loathing sometimes with Cancerians that you don't necessarily, uh, you're not necessarily the biggest fan of yourself, <laughs> if that makes sense. Now remember, Cancerians, you are governed by the moon. And the moon stabilizes, to a certain extent, the weather conditions that we have on Earth. So the Moon is very, very supportive of 
Earth simply because also the Moon is the Earth. Uh, it was, you know, parts of the Earth that sheared off that then created the Moon. The point I'm trying to make is you are governed by the ruler of the night and therefore you have quite a strong energy um, that you have simply because you are governed by the moon and what that also means is that from a new moon to the full moon that's the time the 14 and a half days from a new moon to the full moon that's when the light comes in and then from the full moon to the next new moon that's when the light goes out because you are governed by the energy of the moon i find energetically speaking otherwise it wouldn't come up here it would make sense if you get yourself um, a moon phase calendar and really have a look when is the next new moon and from new moon to full moon that's generally speaking the strongest period of the month so there is two weeks in any given month where your energy is much easier to be high and positive than in the weeks that follow the full moon to the next new moon simply because you're so affected by the energy of the moon and these phases there's only eight phases in total um, of the moon and they're quite fixed because it always takes <laughs> um, 14 and a half days from new moon to full moon and then 14 and a half days from full moon to new moon so they, so they are quite fixed therefore um, you can and this is another um, thing that you have going for you being having the energy of the of the moon as an imprint um, you can literally look it up in a calendar and make changes when the energy is the highest if that makes sense right so you have an extra helper there your outgoing energy is the crocodile the crocodile is an animal that can put 10 little crocodiles in the pouch of its mouth and bring them to safety which never makes the news all we know about the crocodiles is <coughs> that you know you cross the water they're going to tear you apart right so there is this part of self-loathing when in fact according to the energies here you're quite sweet you're quite sweet natured and you're quite kind as well the downside is when you are being provoked you sort of turn on a dime <laughs> if that makes sense so also watch who triggers you right so that was that now we're going into um, the ele element uh, in the energy of love and see what's happening for you there you have the wolf the coyote and the butterfly so what that means is remember the coyote is the one in the middle so we're getting there what you're being asked to again realize the word that the guides are showing me is that only once you have autonomy of sorts inside a relationship is a relationship actually worth having don't live someone else's life and don't be too burdened by the life of a partner if that makes sense right because you have the coyote coyote tells you there's always enough to be sustained what that means is um, there won't be a shortage of people who want to take that spot if that makes sense now cancerians that does not mean that having 30 partners a year is a great life <laughs> if that makes sense right but pay attention to who or whom you're picking if that makes sense right pay attention to what is it you're attracting and why are you drawn toward a certain energy at this point in time so this is about reflection with regards to relationships and you have the butterfly <laughs> which means obviously you are more than ready for either new beginnings or inside the relationship you're in 
take flight. So that's your love life um, energy for November going into the final um, part of this reading, which is anything to do with uh, opportunities that have to do with sustaining yourself financially, if that makes sense. And you have the fish, the deer and the puma. There's not all that much happening, energetically speaking, in November, just to, to say that out loud. <laughs> you have the deer, and what the guides are saying is the calmer you are regarding any financial situation, the better things work. Pointless being upset about things, pointless overthinking, worrying about things, worrying does not change a thing. So that's the first uh, important thing. Then you need to have, you need to make time rather, to think about what's happening here right now. Is that something I would like to keep up in the future, or would I like to have some changes? If though, what would I love to happen to make me more appreciated when it comes to work, for want of a better word? And then the outgoing energy is the puma. The puma is also called the mountain lion, which means there are different names given to your energy, if that makes sense. Therefore, when it comes to work and making ends meet, if that makes sense, you are quite adaptable. Adaptable. You can adapt quite easily, easily to situations. So. Don't forget it, right? You will be fine no matter where you are, but it is important for you to, to figure out where you are right now and then manifest changes should you feel it's not going <clears throat> the way you envision it in your dreams. Right? Cancer, Cancerians, thank you so much. See you soon.